students so in the previous video we discussed regarding the uh, preparation of a halo alkenes and the halo arenes okay by using some of the uh, reagents and how to remember those reagents also we have discussed okay it is like when a particular reagent is given okay so you can uh, predict what might be the product over there so that is what the main uh, uh, like uh, principle of this uh, like mind map okay so now this video is about the reactions of a halo alkenes and the halo arenes okay so uh, here what happens you could see this is what the alkyl halide or the aryl halide okay that is what i have represent, represented okay when this alkyl halide reacts with a given reagents okay so these are all the reagents that i have mentioned when this alkyl halide react with this particular reagent we will going to get the uh, like confirmed product like this okay this is how you need to go through okay and the first one let us go here when this alkyl halide is treated with a aqueous potash okay potash we're going to call or we can call it as a potassium hydroxide over here aqueous represent that the potassium hydroxide are prepared that solution is prepared by using a water over here okay so whenever alkyl halide is given and the aqueous potash is given the product will going to get what compulsory alcohol will be produced over there okay do remember aqueous potash because why i am uh, like representing here if the alcoholic potash is given then the product will be totally different okay so that's why when the aqueous potash is given the product is alcohol okay similarly when this alkyl halide is treated with the water that is what we can call it as a hydrolysis of alkyl halide will result in the formation of respective alcohol here also we can get alcohol okay so these are the two methods through which we can prepare the alcohol by using a alkyl halide okay if any reactions is given your competitive exam if the alkyl halide is any alkyl halide is given and in that one if they have given a reagent aqueous potash so just you can close your eyes and you can just predict the answer that it is an alcohol over here okay similarly water if it is given then the product is also alcohol okay this two you have to remember next comes when this alkyl halide is treated with a alcoholic potassium cyanide okay when this alcohol I means sorry alkyl halide treated with a alcoholic potassium cyanide we will going to get what the respective alkyl cyanide okay this is called alkyl cyanide over here or you can also call it as a alkene nitrile also you can call here okay so alkyl halide when treated with a potassium cyanide that is prepared by using a alcoholic so we will going to get get what alkyl cyanide but when this alcohol sorry alkyl halide treated with a alcoholic silver cyanide okay so instead of potassium cyanide if i take a silver cyanide that is prepared in the alcoholic uh, uh, solvent okay so the alkyl halide results in the formation of alkyl isocyanide okay if cn is given this is cyanide if nc is given this is called isocyanide okay so repeatedly the questions have appeared based on this one so like many students what they will going to do if they remember like potassium cyanide it gives uh, like alkyl cyanide here also they'll try to write it is a alkyl cyanide itself but no when the silver cyanide is treated it results in the formation of a alkyl isocyanide over there okay so this is how uh, like uh, reactions of uh, haloalkanes and the halorins will be discussed so the next one is like when this alkyl halide is treated with a alkyl halide when treated with a silver acetate okay or a silver carboxylate we could say okay that results in the formation of respective ester will be formed okay ester will be formed when this alkyl halide is treated with a silver respective uh, carboxylic acid okay silver acetate you can take an example that results in the formation of a ester okay this is a reagent that will be used similar 
so here when alkyl halide treated either with a potassium nitrite or the silver nitrate if any one of the nitrite will be used and it is heated it results in the formation of respective what the alkyl nitrile so the product is alkyl nitrite okay so this is what the product will going to get so similarly when alkyl halide treated with a Al sodium alkoxide okay this is called sodium alkoxide okay it results in the formation of respective ether okay this is called ether and this particular reaction we will going to study in alcohol phenols and ether and the name of the reaction is williamson ether synthesis okay when alkyl halide treated with a sodium alkoxide it gives respective ether and the reaction is williamson ether synthesis okay so the next one is when alkyl halide treated with a lithium aluminium hydride which is a strong reducing agent okay which is a strong reducing agent and we know the role of a reducing agent that when any like alkyl halide is treated with a lithium aluminium hydride it results in the formation of respective alkane over here okay the hydrocarbon alkane will be formed okay that is the role of this lithium aluminium hydride which is acting as a reducing agent so it is it reduces the substance and it will undergo what the oxidation that is what the reaction is going to happen okay hydrogen will be added to this r to give respective alkane okay so the next one is when this alkyl halide is treated with the alcoholic ammonia means when this alkyl halide is treated with ammonia that is prepared by using a like mixed with the alcohol under a, a given pressure that results in the formation of respective amine okay this is the first step further what happens when this amine formed is treated with the excess of alkyl halide again okay that results in the formation of a secondary amine like this okay where it is further treated with a, uh, a, a some more amount of alkyl halide it may results in the formation of respective the tertiary amine over here okay so that when alkyl halide treated with the ammonia it gives amine followed by the primary secondary and the tertiary amine and this process is known as a ammonolysis okay that you can study in the uh, amine chapter itself in detail okay so these are some type of a reactions okay where about the main two reactions of a alkyl halide are this you have gone through in a theory part that is sn1 and sn2 reaction okay so you can check my previous video where i have mentioned where i have discussed in detail about the sn1 and sn2 reactions okay and some of the questions based on these two reactions that have been asked in the previous year also i have discussed okay you can check those videos if you want i'll just uh, going to mention that in the description box okay so there are some reactions reactions there are some more we'll going to discuss now and here what is happening some reactions are like a nucleophilic substitution reactions and the some reactions are like a elimination reaction okay so i have i have not mentioned i have combined all the reactions over here it is because my motto is just to make you to know what is the role of the reagents that are present over here okay so this is the first part so let us discuss some more reactions of a halo alkanes and the halo arenes so similarly you could see some more reactions over here that when alkyl halide is treated with the alcoholic potash this is what i have represented in the like a first part over there when the aqueous potash is mentioned that gives the product what the respective alcohol okay but when this alkyl halide is treated with the alcoholic potash that is the potassium hydroxide is prepared by using a alcohol here what happens the alkene will be the product dear students this is very very important most of the questions will appear from this part okay and this process is called was dehydrohalogenation okay the process is known as what dehydrohalogenation so compulsory we will going to get what alkene so whenever alcoholic potash is mentioned in any of the questions okay the product will be alkene compulsory okay 
so this is what and this will going to follow the marconi kaffer's rule okay and uh, next when alkyl halide treated with a uh, sodium in presence of a like a dry ether that is when excess of alkyl halide okay when excess of alkyl halide that is a two molecules of alkyl halide when treated with a sodium in presence of a dry ether we will going to get alkane okay and the, this reaction is called Wood's reaction. Okay, this even I have discussed in the previous video. You can check this one. So this reaction is called Wood's reaction. Okay, and when this alkyl halide, when the alkyl halide is mentioned, when the sodium in presence of a dry ether is mentioned, okay, we will going to get alkane. That too, it's an higher alkane. Means what? Whatever the number of uh, carbon atoms are present in the reactant, the product will contain more than that of a carbon atoms. Okay. It double or higher alkanes we could say similarly next one is like when alkyl halide treated with a magnesium in presence of a dry ether okay it results in the formation of a alkyl magnesium halide which will going to call it as what grignard reagent okay this is well known as what grignard reagent quite simple alkyl halide with a magnesium in presence of a dry ether to in and it is heated to give a grignard reagent okay similarly just observe when this alkyl halide is treated with a aryl halide aryl halide we can give an example of a chlorobenzene or bromobenzene if you want i'll just going to write here like when this alkyl halide is treated with a, any of the aryl halide it gives what respective toluene okay compulsory product i have mentioned here as a toluene we can get any substituted uh, like aromatic hydrocarbon over here okay this reaction is particularly known as what woods fittig reaction woods fittig reaction okay and there should be a presence of a sodium and dry ether over here okay and the last reaction is when alkyl halide treated with any of these reagent okay that is the first one either zinc in presence of a hcl or tin in presence of a hcl either we can use this reagents or zinc in presence of a copper and hcl okay sodium uh, in presence of a ethyl alcohol and hydrogen iodide in presence of a red phosphorus so any of the re uh, like a reagents can be used okay which are the reducing agents which are the reducing agents okay that gives what alkane okay so the alkyl halide if question will be given alkyl halide will be mentioned if any one of the reagents is mentioned then the compulsory product will going to get is what alkane okay so these are what uh, some of the uh, reactions of a uh, specially more reactions i have discussed about the alkyl halide over here okay so in my previous video i will going to discuss some of the uh, previous year questions uh, like uh, based on these uh, alkyl halide and the aryl halide okay uh, so that uh, like in the neat as well as in the ct exam okay i hope you find it very useful okay if you like the video if you are like getting any knowledge regarding this one please do share and subscribe okay so thank you so much